on here. Okay, we're gonna go. We're doing a test of all my cameras. I've got them all set up, and I'll test the mics too. But um, <clears throat> I got all my mics set up, pretty much. Okay, so cam one. Uh, I just left it up there. I don't have any use for it up there right today. I'm actually thinking about moving it and pointing it at me if I can find a good place to set it. Uh, uh, one and four. So I've got the four up there. I like that so that I can do some unboxing right here in front of me. I've got my workbench right there now. <clears throat> so uh, one and two. So you can see my arm. It's behind, but it should still be working. Uh, two is sitting in my lap here. So I'm going to call it moved. And uh, one and desktop. They show the same thing, but one's a camera, one's the actual desktop camera too. And uh, I can move this enough to show. Yeah, there's camera one aiming at the monitor. And uh, yeah, here's some 58 right there in front of me. Over there, I've got the endoscope, and I've got camera three. Uh, since that single lapel has got a cable breaking up where it's next to the head I finally figured out I didn't plug it in uh, it's but it's turned on and it's brought it'll send sound from its own mic uh, I probably won't use it I'm just getting it all set up so that each you know the next time I want to do something there's the endoscope that's up there there way up there is the uh, 4k the Comrie 4k uh, and I'm going to use it and I'm thinking I might use once I get this test done, I'll make sure everything works. I may uh, I use the SM58 and the uh, well, I've got the lapels on cam two, and it's in my oh, it's in my hand. It's the camera two. There's the lapels. Camera two is also broadcasting the audio over Bluetooth for um, that's something in my eye again. Stuff is just evidently floating around in this room and just landing. My glasses are constantly covered with lint looking stuff. And it's, well, my eyes, they do it no matter where I am. And here out in the garage when I was working on the dryer, uh, they seem to be either there's lint and dust or dust everywhere. I say lint, dust really. Lint, lint and dust because I see it in my, I don't suppose it would show up in my glasses see it might if I aim them okay. I can't move this camera very much do it. I don't know if that's just gonna show up. oh I've got the endoscope on here okay when I get to the endoscope I might just do that okay so um, then there's two and four not a real good angle, but I was trying to get me. I, originally, I was kind of thinking, well, I'll just use that camera, one camera for right now. So I aimed to set it up over there like that. And I mean, it's okay, but it's not very good. Don't make me look like that for sure. I'll be fine for the, the unboxing, I think. I think I'll highlight that. You'll be able to see what's going on. And then two in desktop, uh, four, and then. Uh, Seems like when I'm, I'm using my keyboard to change scenes. Oh, four and desktop. Okay, I'm just not seeing. I'm kind of like I'm trying to watch what scene I'm on on the left, but then the scene changes and it distracts my eyes to what's going on in the scene. So there's four and desktop. Endoscope. That's what I thought it was going to be. I changed that to its highest resolution. I finally realized it kept looking too pixelated to me to use. And finally I realized, well, as much as I'm stretching it, got to be the best thing so I tried it out again and I don't know maybe I had I don't know what I it looks much better than uh, it fits now it'll fit up next to the other cameras better and uh, and it looks better it, it is it, it's you can see the the dots per inch you can see the pixels but uh, dots per inch is what they uh, called in the printing world uh, the DPI but uh, megapixels is what they call it in the digital camera world. 
anyway that's my note to self and i did do that and the, the lapel's fine so i was going to try to check it out but i can't can't reach it it'll just pull that up from under there okay and then cam one and in the scope uh in the scope and cam two you see when it's not stretched so big it really looks pretty darn good you can read it good way better than that 800 by 600 it's on kind of about what the uh, see the 4k camera will only do a certain amount like 1200 1270 or 1280 or something and that's what the endoscope is doing now pretty pretty close to the same thing uh, i think maybe it's not it's more square i think it's more of a square resolution the endoscope uh yeah there it is it's 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 a, it's basically a 4.3 it's not a and the 4K is a 16, you know, 16 or whatever. I always forget all that. Too many numbers. Uh, Endoscope and cam 2, Endoscope and cam 4. I also rearranged them so that I'm usually always, when I'm using this camera 4, I usually always have it over to my left. So, uh, so if I put things, on, it, it makes it look more like it looks, makes it look like I'm looking at you know, uh, so it, it, when they were a bunch of time, a bunch of the scenes that were swapped, and I was looking the same direction, but the stuff was all behind me. You know, it looks weird. So there's the uh, music out, and then that will be the end title. I'm going to go back up to uh, this is on the SM58, and so I've got the SM58 uh, going through the mixer like usual. But also have the uh, audio from Cam Two going through the mixer using the uh, where is Cam Two? Camera Camera Two. Okay, I'll show you. So it can show me later. Okay, if I can hold still. Let's see. Right here. This is my Bluetooth transmitter receiver, and I'm using it in receive mode to get this get the audio from uh, I'm using the double lapel through the cam 2 phone 2 uh, and I do have the camera on right now so right now it's broadcasting Wi-Fi video and it's a little behind it usually is anyway but uh, I would imagine with the Bluetooth on it's probably working a little harder got it plugged into power so I won't run down while I'm setting everything up anyway it's going over here to the mixer to channel channel 3 and 4 stereo channel and uh, so it's turned down right now, but uh, and I've got my probably my sound is not so good because I may have turned away from the mic. So let's turn this in. Sound up on the SM58. Okay, let me uh, yeah, let me turn it back down on the uh, channel three, <laughs> <coughs> three and four, and let me get on the app. Can't, I would put this under the endoscope or something, but I can't reach it with all the cables plugged into it. I think I know it was working before I tested it. Well, it may be working the machine too. Okay, we're still connected to Bluetooth. Oh, it's just ready. It got out of being uh, somehow. Well, I, some strange things opened up and uh, I got out of them. But if you just barely touch these things, any okay, mic on there. You, go. you barely touch these things anymore. They get out of the uh, or they, they get turned off and stuff all kinds of things the app gets okay okay I'm just kind of guessing about where I'm at I can't see it from over here because I know about where I want it so we got sound now SM58 is turned down and channels 3 and 4 uh, so now we're broadcasting over the Wi-Fi I mean over Bluetooth, I'm sorry. And I do still have audio. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. But uh, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, that's a 
about I've figured out that it's kind of they work pretty good just both in the same place at about three o'clock about three o'clock about I used to know clocks in my head I guess it's one o'clock that's two o'clock maybe about two o'clock okay so Right, that's about right. The recipe, yeah, yeah. You need. I need to be looking straight down over that to really get it on the mark. But uh, it should be good. Okay, so, and well, you can see the audio signal from there too. So let's go back to the desktop though. Uh, so now, wait. Let's go back to camera two because I, it's kind of good being able to show what I'm actually doing. So now I'm going to uh, gonna do control. I'm going to use the other hand, I think. Can I reach it? Maybe I'll do it with this hand. Yeah, here we go. Keyboard. Here. <coughs> Cables everywhere. Okay, so I'm on the SM58. That's what I'm bumping into. So we're going to mute that with control. Now we're going to have sound from, and it's just, it probably sounds a little distant because it's sitting over there, uh, right under the, kind of under the endoscope. That's the only pl best place I could set it with, without getting a whole bunch of noise, you know, background noise from everything that I touch. So I just set it over there, and if I wanted to pick it up and use it, I could. But, um, I, I just, this is just kind of like a mock up set up here just to make sure everything's going to work so uh now let's go back to my cam uh sm58 i was trying to show the keyboard while i was doing it but anyway it's con left i don't think right yeah i don't believe i can't reach it with one hand anyway but i don't think right control will do it i think it has to be left control. It might be either or but uh this yeah we're back on the sm58 okay so, um, yeah, okay, so <clears throat> now we're on cam. Oh, I could have used that right in the camera. But yeah, I, usually, uh, well, I guess what I do a lot of times is, I thought I could do that real easy. I guess I use both hands all the time. I can do my thumb and one of my fingers here to do that, but usually my right hand's well, I'm always kind of used to using the mouse on my writing all the time, so I guess I just usually do that. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, everything that I have, pretty much, like I said, my, my single lapel mic, I decided to quit using it because it's got real bad, uh, it, it gets a intermittent, you know, the, the connection, will, the, the wire's evidently just about broke inside of the connector, right up at the, near the head. And so it works, and then you move around uh, with it on. It'll quit working, and then it'll like sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll pop and make noise. I, and I did. That was why I bought another one. And I took, I opened that thing up, and went all the way down to getting the capsule out, if I remember right. And I couldn't see anything wrong. But it may be usually what the main thing that usually happens with, in that kind of situation is. Uh, Um, it's sitting right over here in this bag. I don't think I really want to dig it out. Yeah, I don't want to dig it out. It's kind of hard to get back in there. But uh, this is it. It's uh, it's a sauce mic. Sick you or something? I call it the sauce mic. It was pretty good. It didn't. It never did have quite as good of a sound as the lapels, dual lapels do. The sound, you know, it's and, and now that, that I can hook them up to the mixer. See, I couldn't, I didn't have an adapter to plug them straight into the mixer. Plus, I really didn't want to. The whole reason I wanted them was to hook up to the phones to be wireless. And once I did try it out with, the, I have a Bluetooth transmitter that used to be on Mom's old TV, which would probably go back on it when I get it set up in her room. 
but it uh, didn't sound. It sounded really weird and bad. And I tried to. I tried to do it yesterday. I tried to hook it up and test it again and just see if uh, see if there was just something odd about the, the test I was doing. And I could not get it to talk to that. But the phone is real good about it. Only thing is, it's a pretty darn bad delay. You know, so if 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 I'm showing my face, you'll see my mouth move. You know, like I'll say a whole sentence or you know, like four, three to five words, and then then you'll hear it. You know, uh, but if I'm not showing my face, then it's not too bad. Sometimes I I'm pointing at something or something, and then I've already moved away when I finally say it. But it's it's okay. But I was using it. Now that was going straight to the to the camera, and I used a whole bunch of videos out there working on the dryer, and it, it but it made decent. It, it doesn't have the uh, for some reason going through the Bluetooth straight to the camera. The single lapel actually sounded quite a bit better. It, this one sounded kind of tinny and sharp, and I didn't like the sound of it. it kind of irritated my ear. And uh, but going through the mixer, well, it gets the uh, it gets the noise gate compression and the effects that I have to make it sound better. And it sounded just about as good as the SM58. So, <clears throat> and see, like when I turn away from the SM58, the voice is going to fade in and out. Or if I get closer or get extra loud, it'll overcome the compressor because I'm, I'm making some no, you know, don't sound good. It might even distort because I'm so close to it. Or if I get really close, you know, and get loud. But uh, anyway, I'm. Uh, I think I'm not going to use all this. I'm going to turn off, uh, turn off the camera on this one. And uh, I'm thinking I'll leave this one on camera two, camera one, and turn it at me. I'm thinking about maybe I should turn it at me now. So I'll get to try that out. Well, if I'm, uh, I really need to cut down all this extra bandwidth usage on my phone. I've got that phone over there doing audio, this one doing video, and that one doing video. And since I have the two 5 megapixel security cameras going all the time, it just can't handle all that. And usually, what happens is uh, one these phones will just completely, put tra you know, lose their transmission. You know, they'll still be on, but they won't be transmitting. So I don't know if the router. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <coughs> I don't, well, I, ha I guess I really haven't been paying attention. I didn't go look to see if the webcam, you know, the IP cams were down too. It could be that it just gave up on everything. Wi Fi <laughs> got uh, overran the, uh, the cache in the RAM and, and filled them up. So uh, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to stop this test, <coughs> and then I'll re aim this one, turn everything off, and then I'll re aim that one. Because <coughs> I don't really have a <coughs> need for it to just be pointing at the screen that I can think of today. So, all right, let's do the music out. Mm -hmm. 